Hey you guys, it's Megan and I don't even know how to film this video because you for sure read the title, that's why you clicked on this video. And if you cannot wait to see what I have decluttered from my collection, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I can't even believe it and I don't think you will be able to believe it, honestly. So I pretty much am getting rid of half to like 60% of my collection, my makeup collection. And I'm just sick of it. I'm just sick of it. And I really haven't been buying makeup very much like really this whole year and it's not that I was on a no buy or low buy necessarily but I just haven't really been interested in it. I guess I did shop like the Sephora sale and everything but after that I feel like I just completely got out of buying makeup and of course I've bought some things here and there. I'll always buy eyeshadow because that's my favorite thing ever but there's just so much in my collection that I don't use that either is old or if it's not old and I just don't really reach for it I'd rather pass it on to someone before it is old um, so you might see some things that are pretty new in my collection something that you will absolutely be shocked by like absolutely I am shocked by most of this stuff but I'm getting rid of some really really high-end things things that I really used to enjoy but just haven't used in over a year or over two years that I'm never really gonna come back to them you know like there's some things that are constantly a staple in my collection and basically how I thought while I was doing this was one I'm just sick of having all this stuff and two would I miss this like would I be devastated to not have this anymore and pretty much you could get rid of everything I own in terms of like my makeup collection and I would be 100% fine like obviously but there's some things that I really really enjoy more than others that I would be really sad if I didn't have them anymore but literally all this stuff I don't care about I could not care less about getting rid of it and I'm going to pass on as much as I possibly can but I really don't want to inundate my friends and family who I have given so much to over the years and when we cleared out my mom's makeup collection and her bathroom like a lot of the stuff that I have given her as like hand-me-downs we got rid of anyway because she didn't pick it out herself so I'm gonna see if Rachel's friends want it to like try to spread the love farther in our circle um and my um aunt from Florida is visiting right now so I'm anything that's like newer I'm going to see if she wants it and yeah, I'm so excited to get rid of this stuff like I just cannot believe that I'm even doing this. Okay, you want me to shut up. I know you do. So let me turn you around and show you this mountain of makeup I'm getting rid of. Look at this, you guys. So much. It is so deep. Like, <laughs> there is, it is like endless amounts of makeup. I do have some skincare in here. Um, and I am going to pick out some things to speak about specifically, but in general, I'm just over it. Like, seeing all this makeup doesn't make me happy. All this makeup was added to this pile because I don't use it. This JLo, that JLo Glow Serum, I actually have been testing out and it breaks me out. So that really, really upsets me. And I had another JLo product that I'm getting rid of. Oh yeah, this one, the like bronze 
glowy stuff it's not even shimmery like when you put it on your skin it there's no like glisten or anything so I'm pretty disappointed honestly in those products um but yeah seeing all this makeup like should make me excited or it should make me sad that I want to get rid of it but I literally feel nothing I'm just like I don't want all this stuff. I have other things that I much, much prefer. And I'm going to like reorganize my collection and then show you guys because I cleared out, I think four, no, five drawers of makeup in my acrylic drawers. Um, so stay tuned for that. That might take me a while. But I decided to um, part ways with all of my mini Natasha Denona palettes. I have five of them. I never, ever use them. Um, the star, the mini star was my favorite. But I have these colors. Like the colors that I like in this, I have in other palettes. I just never reach for these. So these are... Some of them are a little older, but they're in relatively good condition. This one, I definitely want to see if my mom or my aunt wants this, but this is the Dior Jungle palette. Let me try to open it without messing it up. This was my first Dior palette that I bought, and unfortunately, it's my least favorite. I have used it a little bit, as you can see, but... I just don't use that colorway, so that's gonna go. This I recently had in a favorites video. This is a new benefit product, specifically for this shade Solstice. I don't use any of the other colors, and this is a baked product, so I don't want to like destroy the packaging because I don't know that that's on a metal pan anyhow. So I'm just going to pass this on and this blush like came kind of like not glued down so that's always been slightly annoying but hopefully someone else can get good use out of that um the benefit hula glow this is gorgeous if you have light to medium skin but my pale ass skin is just too light so i can't really wear this um but i'm gonna see if I can pass that on to someone. Uh, there were a lot of palettes that I am getting rid of that are really, really nice. Like all this makeup pretty much is good, but um, like in this Kaleidos palette, I only use that lavender shade and I never reach for this because I only like that one shade and I forget about it. So um, that can definitely go. This devastates me because this is Lady Gaga's makeup brand and she, is my queen. I love Lady Gaga to death do us part, but this palette is just not good quality. It just really isn't, and it's so upsetting. I love this shade Alice, but it's so crumbly, and like these are just so hard. It just doesn't perform well, and I'm honestly shocked because I just expected more out of it. I bought this full price on the day it came out for $50, but I got my use out of it. I enjoyed it for the week or two that I used it, but I've never reached for it since last year, so that can go. This is kind of a shocker, um, the Tati Beauty palette. By the way, I'm so happy that Tati's back. Like, I've been seriously worried about her, so I'm really glad she's back, um, but I never use this palette. It's pretty much all warm tones, which I don't ever reach for. And this top row is all glitter, which I have completely sworn off of for my eyeshadow. Like I used to love glitter, but then last year I had so many eye irritations, so many trips to the eye doctor, and putting glitter on our eyes is not worth it like that wasn't the only reason but it didn't help my situation so i'm going to pass this on to someone it's in very good condition but i just don't need it um this palette devastates me but i haven't used it in like two years this is the Too faced natural lust palette it is 
so beautiful and I got this at uh, Marshall's like two years ago used it constantly I loved it but I just have not used it ever since so that can go this palette is really sad because it is really beautiful the mercury retrograde palette but I just don't use these colors like it's really pretty but I just don't use it and I showed my sister this and she really liked it so I'm going to give it to her and see if she gets some use out of it and even if she uses it like two times it'll be more than I've used it in the past year so yeah this has to go this is just too dark on me the bliss block star spf 30 it is tinted even though it's called invisible so i feel like that's kind of misleading but yeah i bought this at target threw away the box so i'm just going to maybe my mom could use this honestly so anyway i'll find a home for that um this like i have considered getting rid of this for a few years but I never wanted to because I love the packaging this is the Fenty Beauty um what do they call this diamond bomb and how many carrots I love this packaging so much and I bought it when we were in Disney World so it's just like a princess product to me but look at this you guys it has completely fallen out of the pan and like it doesn't even really fit anymore it's like it shrunk and this is like a super shock oh my god this is like a super shock shadow it's so pretty and just like glistening on your skin but I haven't used it in probably again two plus years and especially because it's a cream product it just doesn't last so this one I will unfortunately have to throw away same with all of these ColourPop Super Shock shadows they're just dry to the bone they're not worth it to me to revive even though I know you could I just don't care that much oh my gosh all of these like pencil liners like all my MAC lip liners Milani uh, Kylie house labs again lady gaga i'm sorry um i got rid of so many because i just really don't like that really hard pencil type of eye or lip liner i just think it's so dry and i just hate it there's some other lip liners i just don't really use so i'm getting rid of a bunch of these i'm also getting rid of pretty much all of my liquid lipsticks almost um, I did keep a few, but I just don't wear liquid lipstick. I hate how dry it is. Um, I used to like these Maybelline ones, but I bought those quite a long time ago. Why did I ever buy such dark colors? I have no idea, but like, I'm not a matte liquid lipstick girl. I'm just not. Another thing that I decided to get rid of is stuff that I got in PR that I've just been hanging on to, like this Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush from Grande Cosmetics. This is a pretty color, but it makes my cheeks feel cold because it has a plumping effect, and I just can't do it. I hate it so much, and... It's a fine product, but I can't take that sensation. I'm pretty much getting rid of all of my little e.l.f. like bite size products. These are really, really great for the price, but I just need to learn that I will always use my high-end makeup over drugstore. Like, pretty much always. Especially when it comes to eyeshadow, where I have so many palettes I love from Dior and Tom Ford and Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona like it's rare that I will use one of these instead of that and there are exceptions to the rule that I kept but I am going to pass all of these on 
I'm gonna get rid of the Wonder Brow, which I only used like one time when I filmed my Hilary Duff like makeup tutorial and she used this and that was like two plus years ago and I've never used it again, so that can go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of two of my Naked palettes. I'm keeping the Naked Honey because I adore that palette, but the original Naked and the Naked 2. I never use these, like, ugh. I just never use them, and part of me wants to keep these as, like, collector's items because I do keep, like, packaging and stuff, but I just can't. Like, what am I gonna do with these even if I keep them? Like, that's just strange. So, I'm gonna see if anyone I know wants these, but... I tried them out, I enjoyed them, but it's time to move on. This is like really upsetting because this is expensive, but I did get it on a good deal when Bergdorf Goodman was like going out of business and had I think 30% off of beauty. So this is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I feel like I'm the only person that does not like this. This is literally like a spray can foundation and this is the shade like whatever the lightest one is. 1N is the lightest shade that they have and so that's what I bought and it's still too dark for me. So it oxidizes as well. It's just not a good color and I don't really love the spray type of application. It's nice because this is pretty sanitary since you just spray it out and I think I've only used it twice. So I am pretty sure I'll be able to sell this but yeah, that's just a shame. Oh, this makes me so depressed. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I really, really like this product, but I rarely use it, which is why I was like, oh, I might get rid of it because I was being really brutal. And then I opened the lid and I swear to you guys, there's like two little dots in there that look kind of like mold. Like it's inside the bottle and I put my flashlight up to it and I don't know. I'm not risking it. I'm not putting this on my face. I bought this quite a long time ago and I shouldn't have let it go to waste but I did and I just don't use this frequently enough to make it worth it. So I won't repurchase it, but it is really nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much. A lot of it is drugstore just because I don't use it as much. There's like old stuff that I just haven't used. Oh, let me show you the Tom Ford palettes that I'm going to part ways with. First is Golden Mink, which is really pretty, but I just don't reach for this palette like ever. They're more warm toned than I like so um, I'm gonna pass that on and then Super Nouveau. This is basically like a smoky palette and I have a Chanel palette that I prefer that has similar colors so I'm just gonna pass this one on. Oh I have a lot of like old stuff like um, my Burberry shadows. I did keep one in nude, um, but I'm getting rid of my other ones that I still had. I still had three others, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm finally parting ways with my Kevin Aquan bronzers that were literally my favorite things ever, Tropical Days and Tropical Nights, but I got these probably seven years ago. So that is really gross, so that <laughs> has to go. Uh, same with this, this is really old, this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Oh, I have a whole pile of stuff that's brand new that I just am not gonna get around to using, so I'll be able to like donate that or just feel better about giving it away because it's brand new. This Iconic London Liquid Blush in Fearless Flush, which is one of the darkest shades, it's like a red, if you blend this out, it is transparent. Like, it is almost invisible. So, I think I got this at Ulta or something. It's been a while, so I'm just gonna get rid of it, but 
That's a shame because it just really doesn't show up. These single shadows. I have a lot of different single shadows, but I don't use these colors like the pinks and the blues. I have the Dior denim palette that has like all these colors and for the pinks, I just don't wear these. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, the So Jaded palette. I've used this a handful of times, but some of the shadows are still pretty much untouched. <sighs> I just, I just don't need it. This is upsetting to me. This is a pretty recent purchase. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer Duo. And this is the latest shade and that lilac blush just really, really spoke to me. But it has no pigment. Not even on my like pale as a ghost white skin can I even get it to show up the bronzer is nice the formula is nice but there's just no color payoff and it's just too bulky like the packaging is nice but it's very bulky so uh whatever I already spent the money so uh let's see what else some SPFs that are expired so <sighs> Should have known better there. Um, this product I've been trying to force myself to use. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. This smells like jalapenos to me. Like, I just can't do it. I hate how it smells. It doesn't smell like watermelon in the slightest, in my opinion. And I just have other, like, BHA toners that I prefer, like the Polish Choice. So... I'll just use those. This is the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. It is humongous, like it's impossible to store. And then it's basically just like a thick moisturizer makeup primer. I just don't use it and yeah. Um, this, it's so cute, but I just don't use it. The Sailor Moon palette. It actually made my eyes burn when I used it. And I was just sucked in to the packaging, so I'm probably gonna keep it um, for the packaging because one day I do hope to make like a shadow box or a collage or something with really beautiful packaging that I've saved over the years. So I'm gonna save that as well as the Frozen palettes from ColourPop. I just don't use these, but the packaging, like the artwork is so stunning that I just can't, part ways with them so I'm gonna keep those but in like a separate spot. This um Rachel Zoe La Rock highlighter I love this packaging like this is what luxury makeup should feel like it's so heavy and nice but unfortunately this is like so thick looking on my skin I just hate it. I can't stand it. It's huge and I love the packaging and I really do like Rachel Zoe but I just never use this, so that has got to go. Um, I'm getting rid of some of my MAC lipsticks, but I'm gonna back to MAC those, so I'm adding those to my back to MAC. Um, this is devastating to me because I adore these blushes. I seriously think they're some of the best blush in the world, but these break me out. Seychelles especially, this one is such a beautiful, unique, like, bronzy shimmery nude oh my god it breaks my heart so I don't know <laughs> why I'm like cursed to have amazing products always irritate my skin but these have to go because I just can't wear them oh my gosh you guys there's so much I can't even go through it all I'm getting rid of a lot of like cream shadow sticks a lot of eyeliners that are just too old or I don't use them this I think is just like not a great product this is the Charlotte Tilbury like pillow talk supermodel lip stick something or other this is literally just like chunky glitter in a lipstick and it feels gritty it's just not for me and I just really don't like it so that is going minis I have got to stop getting like mini makeup because I don't use it and 
I have enough full size that I don't need it. Um, this I really didn't want to part ways with for a long time, but like literally I'll never miss it. This is the Becca Cosmetics Chrissy Teigen like sunrise sunset palette, something like that. I never ever use it. You can still see the embossing. I don't need it. I don't really care. Um, and that's kind of the gist of it is that I don't really care. I spent the money on it. I already lost the money. I don't need this all sitting around and just weighing me down. Like, I just want to get rid of it. Some stuff I'll be able to pass on. Some stuff I won't. I need to stop buying drugstore makeup. I need to stop buying makeup in general. Um, and yeah, so... <laughs> This is just insane to me that literally my bed is halfway covered in makeup and I still have more. Like, I really, really tried to keep only stuff I enjoyed, but I'm sure I could narrow it down even, even more. But this was like as brutal as I've ever been. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy. I can't wait to get rid of this stuff. It doesn't bring me happiness and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this one don't take offense if I'm getting rid of something you absolutely love you should keep the things you love and I will keep the things I love and that is how the world should go round and yeah like I said I'm gonna try to make sure as much of this is rehomed as possible but some is just old or gross or whatever and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe stay tuned for my updated makeup collection like organization and everything so you can see what I actually kept but yeah I hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon